Hello, everyone. Nice to see you here. We are very honored to give this talk at the GDC. Our topic is Hair Art in Games, Aesthetics Difference Between Eastern and Western. Thanks for coming our speech. So first, let me introduce the speakers. I am Nora Xiaoyingfu, is currently the lead character artist in Justice Mobile Project and the character specialist in Justice Online Project at NetEase Thunderfire Studio. I used to work at Digital Extremes as a character artist in Warframe Project and at EA Mobile Canada as a 3D artist. Hi, um, I'm Hao, and I'm now currently a senior user researcher at NetEase Thunderfire UX department. Um, recent projects I have worked on include Justice Online, Moral Duel, Uno Mobile, and Naraka Playpoint. Mm, I, Nora, will give the first half of the speech, and Ro will give the next half. Thanks for coming. So let's start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's start our speech. So, um, as a media art loved by people all over the world, games show different art styles. When we make next generation games, we often pay attention to the effects of characters, and hair is a very important part of it. What's interesting is there are many aesthetic similarities and differences between Western and Eastern themes games based on culture background. I'm fortunate to have worked in different game companies in Canada and China and have participated in games of different art styles in different game fields from East to West. Here, I have collected some um, experience Oh, sorry, I have collected some working experience and find some interesting points to share with you with my partner. There are many points and this talk will focus on the aspect of the hair. So first, let's review the trends of hair design in video game in recent decades. With the development of the technology, especially the hardware improvement, the game performance have been rapidly developed. Therefore, artists are all allowed to present their design more freely. So hair has been shown very differently at different historical stages of the game development, becoming more refined and diverse. We can see this changing trend from the tumble ride in 1990s to the Metal Gear Solid in 2000s, until the recent Last of Us. In the games of 1990s, since the hardware can only support very few triangles, the hairstyles are also very simple without the texture of hair. With the improvement of hardware in the 2000s, the games have been able to support a small number of hair cards with transparent hair textures. <clears throat> and now the hardware have been able to support the very high triangles and a large number of alpha test and alpha blend transparent maps. So artists are so better able to design and create more complex hairstyles. The same changes have been experienced in the Eastern game industry. From Audition Online to Nalika Blade Chop Point and Justice Online Mobile in development stage. The hair design is becoming more and more complex and the details both on the texture and its dynamic performance are increased rapidly. So, games have accompanied many players since their childhood. We can see that in most games, the hair design are mostly derived from hairstyles used in people's daily life, extracting the elements from reality and using it for characters. Whether in the early games, like 
Resident Evil. All the games released in recent year, such as Cyberpunk 2077. The hairstyles of the characters are very, in, very common in real life, which makes the players feel that these characters are the people living around them, looks familiar in appearance, and creates a sense of immersion. At the same time, the design of character in games is not only extracting elements from real life, but some special design are also affecting the public aesthetics. In 2000s, when Audition Online was the most popular game in Chinese market, many stars have the similar haircuts with Audition Online style. Similar hairstyles can often have been seen in street, becoming a very fashionable style of the era. Today's gamers have more requirements for game quality. They not only want to customize the face and the body in the game, but also matching the different hairstyles with their temperament. Therefore, hairstyle art is very important to highlight the personality of the character. Take that is Nalika Blade Point as an example. In this game, players can not, not only customize the character's face, but also can choose different hair colors and styles to increase the sense of immersion. And some games, such as NetEase Tianyu Mobile, go a step further to providing more diversity, such as custom sub-regional dyeing function for hair color. Many players are willing to spend much time on it. In terms of hair styling design and production, there are many interesting similarities and differences between Eastern theme and Western theme games. Next, I will use several games produced by our NetEase as a representative of the Eastern game theme to compare with the game cases from, we we uh, sorry, from Western theme. Let's look at the similarity first. In terms of art design, Hair style design is implementable in game. Whether Eastern or Western, the designs are all extracting from the elements of actual hairstyles in life, then recreating, like blades and short hair. In the ancient Chinese theme games, Justice Online, which background is in Song Dynasty a thousand years ago, there are also some design elements extracting from daily life, such as the blades and the curly hair. The examples go on and on. From above, we can easily feel that whether it's Eastern or Western, the design of hairstyle are not rhythm or baseless, but created with elements in real, in real life. Moreover, the biggest similarity in game industry is the application of technology. No matter which project, the main way to make in-game hair is haircut method. With the improvement of the hardware, some game developers also use dynamic hair simulation to present better dynamic effects. The haircut method is the mostly widely used practice in the game industry. The vast majority of in-game hairstyles use this technique to create hair. Haircuts can make very rich and complex shapes, at the same time, especially combined with a close simulation or dynamic ball, it makes the movement of the hair more natural and smoother. So let's take a look at this video for our Justice Mobile project for uh, first to see how it works.
，蜜雪寒小师妹给大家拜年啦！祝大家虎年快乐！蜜雪寒手游每天都在变得更好哦，今年一定会和大家见面的。来，小老虎，来给大家拜个年。In this real-time rendering video, the cat's fur and the girl's hair are made with haircut method. In combination with Unity Clothes Simulation, which achieves a natural motion effect when hair, te uh, when hair te touching the body, and the calculation amount is also very slow, making it easily running on the mobile phone. Another method is dynamic hair simulation, best known as AMD Trace Fax Hair, an Unreal Engine hair rendering and simulation system. Use a bundled base workflow to rendering each hair with physical accurate motion. It enables the creation of hairstyles to be simulated in real time, rendering hundreds of thousands or more of the realistic hair. In this video, the hair is used AMD Transfax technology. Although the technology is the same, when making different hairstyles in different themed games between West and East, the focus on hair design aesthetics and the gameplay in the game are different. So what is the aesthetic difference between Eastern and Western hairstyles? Before showing the case, please allow me to extend some Eastern and Western differences in traditional painting. I believe that everyone who have visited Western classical painting and ancient Chinese painting in a museum will find that there are a great difference between them two. It's two completely different systems. Relatively speaking, Western classical painting focus on lighting and shadow, perspective and anatomical structure, which tend to present the reality in painting. Whether figures or landscapes, Western classical painting express the material world and the reality. So to speak, Western aesthetics mainly focus on creating recreating and attach, and attaches great importance to realism. In contrast, the Eastern Asian painting are not more about describing the real world, but a kind of expression of personal feelings. Take ancient Chinese painting as an example. This is a part of China's national treasure, a thousand miles of rivers and mountains from Northern Song Dynasty more than a thousand years ago. When we feel the beauty of the, we can feel the beauty of the landscape from painting, but the landscape are completely inconsistent with light and shadow, perspective and structure. This is the most important point of Chinese painting, feeling expression. Realism is neither needed nor value in Chinese traditional painting. In fact, you can't find such a mountain like that at all. And this blue color on the top of mountain is also impossible in natural reality. But we can still feel the same feeling as when the author painting. That is beauty. Due to this difference in Eastern and Western aesthetics, the difference between reproducing reality and expression emotions. The difference in hair design aesthetics is caused, and it is also the difference in players' acceptance of hair aesthetics between Eastern and Western themed games. Therefore, Western themed games focus on realism, restore the shape in real life, and pay more attention to the sense of reality, such as the main character's hairstyle changing during the fighting process. Taking Last of Us 2 as an example, the shape of the hair is consistent with reality. The hair roots are distinct. 
the material is very realistic. The surrounding broken hair is clearly shown, and some shorter hair are struggled after the battle, which is very realistic and physically true. When seeing this, players will prize the sense of reality. On the other hand, many Oriental-themed games consider the styling and the production of hair, form, uh, hair from another direction, and will pay more attention to the silhouette, outline, and the beauty of the styling, while sacrificing part of the realism and the rationality. Take three Chinese games. Uh, take three Chinese style games produced by our NetEase Sound Fire Studio, for example. They are Justice Online, Narika Blade Point, Wang Chuan Feng Hua Lu. So when we, whether it is a realistic and an art style or a two dimensional art style game, the hair design tend to pay more attention to the beauty of the silhouette shape and line, sacrificing part of the realistic feel. In Justice Online on the left, her hairstyle is using lines to form a silhouette, but if it's in real life, shouldn't it, shouldn't it hang down under the influence of gravity? Narika Blade in the middle as another example. So many decorations look so heavy. Isn't she afraid that her precious golden accessories will falling off during a fight? How can the hair accessories be inserted from the bottom up against the gravity? And Wang Chuan Feng Hua Lu on the left, right. In order to create the silhouette, the hair is floating in the air, which is completely against the physics. These designs are completely non-realistic, but who can deny they are beautiful? In fact, these hairstyles are widely prized in players' group through the feedback from various uh, social media and the questionnaires. We draw a conclusion of our game's player. Players don't care much about whether the hairstyle is realistic and reasonable. They care more about whether the appearance are beautiful or not. Therefore, in those projects, artists make a choice, giving up part of the reality of haircuts when we de designing and producing hair, which is different from the realistic style in Western game. After brief uh, up, after briefly talking about the similarities and the differences mentioned above, let me introduce how we design oriental hairstyles. As mentioned earlier, both, both, East, uh, both Eastern and Western games have one thing in common in terms of aesthetics. That is, many hairstyle elements are based on the extraction of hairstyle elements in life. But in oriental themed games, many hairstyles can hardly be found in real life. Many shapes cannot be restored in real life because of the anti-gravity. So how do we find elements? This goes back to Chinese painting. We pick the specific elements from historical painting and recreate to our works. The traditional Chinese ink painting is formed by one stroke. Due to the characteristic of the brush, there will be different thickness changes in one stroke. The line drawn with the tip of the brush is thinner, and the line drawn with the brush obliquely is thicker. At the same angle, the gross ratio of the force different. The lines are completely different. The rhythm of ink painting is also drawn within a single stroke. Therefore, the line is the most important aesthetics element of Chinese painting art, and it is also a watershed between Chinese and Western painting. Changes in the thickness, shade, lightness, speed, dryness, and wetness of a line under the stroke can express emotion, ups and downs, convey feelings, 
show character and publicizing in individuality. With the concept of lines, when we design and make hairstyle, we will consider each strand hair is a line and pay more attention whether the line of the hair are smooth and whether each strand of hair has a reasonable thickness change and whether there is enough tension in the outline of the styling that the hair straights out. Take a look at this hair as an example. Here is a haircut created in the collaboration between Nalika Blade Point and Justice Online. Each strand hair in this hairstyle has ups and downs through the change of the thickness and shade the silhouette. The character's great uh, personality is clearly shown. Women's hairstyles are different from men's, although they are using the curly lines as well and have thickness changes. In women's hairstyles, we will pay more attention to whether the curvature of the curve is soft or not, and whether the falling strands are distributed in a rhythmical change rather than an even distribution. Through the changes of the outline and the silhouette of the line, as well as the changes of the curling radium, a completely different temperament can be reflected. Curly hair and curly lines not only mean soft and feminine, but also can show the power and the frame point personality. This is the magic that lines bring in. Therefore, when we make hair, we concerned about the beauty of the line shape, the thickness change of hair strands, the shade change of the hair pieces shows on the UV dis distribution and the change of the curve radium to the outline of the silhouette. In addition to extracting design inspiration from the lines of ink painting, we also extract elements from traditional painting. For example, this picture is painted a painting of Tang Dynasty 1300 years ago. We extracting the main hairstyle elements, pen hand, and the big peony flower combined with our understanding of the curve to design this style. Although it's kind of against gravity, how can the hair pieces on the left not fall down in the real world? But it does not affect the beauty of this shape in the game at all. From perspective of aesthetics, Hairstyle is a very important part of the character appearance of a certain era. Hair can act as a gateway to bring us back to the old time. In a way, hairstyle can connect our imagination of the past with real tradition, forming bridges across the time and the generations, and reach thousands of households through films, games, and other works. After talking about some aesthetics discussion, we then entered the focus on our speech. It's also a summary from our teamwork experience. How we can better achieve interesting and beautiful hairstyles in the game and what we can do. Next, we will summarize four key thoughts about hair design in video game, as well as our understanding of design method. The four key, uh, the four key points are history experience. The game hair design in line with the character era will give players a better sense of immersion. In this part, we will talk about the historical immersion of hairstyle through a series Eastern and Western artworks and games. Part two, diversity personality. From perspective of user experience, we discuss how to present diversity and personality by haircuts, as well as how to bring players a variety of hairstyles design when allowing using their creativity. Part three, contrast memory. Although the main point, the main purpose of most hairstyle is a attractive appearance. Some hairstyles could express very strong personality characteristics. 
we will discuss how to create some strong memory points by creating hairstyles contrast. Part four, label breaking, universal value. We will discuss how to break the design concept of uh, laboring character with hairstyle labels and try to use game art exploration to convey universal value. In addition, the work we have done to realize the ideal of label breaking. The third and the fourth part will be introduced by my partner Luo Hao. So let's start with a brief review in the history of hair design. In many cases, it's easily to identify the background of the character's era without looking at the character's clothes, just by styling his hair. The first one, ancient Greece hairstyle. The middle one is Baroque hairstyle. And the last one is Qing Dynasty China hairstyle. Hair can symbolize person, uh, hair can symbolize personal identity, status, cultural identity, and so on. The study of these ancient hairstyles can go in many directions, from history books, statues, frescoes, and ancient painting that have been passed down to the present. We can get information about how ancient people dressed up in the era when they lived. In game design, we can make full use of hairstyles with historical characteristics of the time to better tell stories. The hairstyle design in the game that is in line with the character's era background will give the players a better sense of immersion. Here is a character from TV series Qing Ping Le in a collaboration with our Justice Online project. Even if the audience have not tried this game or watched the TV series, they can easily locate the historical background through their her, her hair. Ancient China and her identity, a well-educated woman with a higher status and so on. The beautiful accessories on her head, which is not over decorated, show that she is very rich but with a restrained personality. The hair was neatly combed back, indicate that she has the habits to control her appearance, which tell us her social status. In fact, this woman is a queen in the game and the TV series who dislike luxury and has reserved and quiet personality. Another example, another example, in this case, through the hairstyle we see and a sweet young girl in ancient China, the accessories on her head are exquisite, exquisite. Many small flowers and pills, showing her gentle and soft character. She is keeping Ben's head, uh, she is keeping Ben's hair in front, looking neat and cute. In fact, this girl is a lovely princess with a tragic love story. The right hairstyle can tell a story. It can also allow players to involve in the game at the beginning with a good sense of immersion, experience, and they will not feel inconsistent and strange. In the game Total War Three Kingdom, the developer has restored the historical background in a high degree, and the reboot's unique hairstyle is impressive. The sense of, histo the sense of historical immersion is not only well represented in represented in oriental themed games, but also well reflected in many other culture scenes. As soon as the hairstyle in Assassin's Creed Origins in display, is displayed, without any text introduction, players know that the background of this game is ancient Egypt. Similarly, as soon as this hairstyle comes out, 
Even people who have not played the God of War series can know that the story takes place in ancient Greece and the total war Rome. Here, styling is used to express the background of the history. To sum up, the hairstyle design in the game that is in line with the character's era background will make the players have a better sense of immersion. Part two, diversity and the personality. After finishing the previous part, let's talk about the diversity and the personality of hairstyles. This, is image, uh, this image is from Fallout 4. I'm quoting this image here because it fits my point of view. We can change hairstyles in our daily life, just like characters in games. When people change their hairstyles, sometimes the temperament is also changed. The variety of hairstyle provide more display or personality and temperament. Therefore, in the game, as in daily life, a variety of hairstyle options to change at any time, providing a feeling of freshness, as well as a deeper sense of involvement. On the other hand, the specific outfit of some game characters shows a strong personality. People remember those who impressive them with personalized appearance. For example, Tagami Takayuki in Lost Judgment with a unique hairstyle, which impressed people easily. This is a strong memory point that, uh, that the feature of the haircut brings to the player. In another category of games, this provides games with a greater variety of different customized looks. It can give players a better experience and increase users' thickness. In addition to the diversity of hairstyles, individual customization can also be involved, uh, improved through adjustments such as hair color diary. Diversity and personality are two sides of a coin. Whether it is a personalized design or diversified design, the main purpose is to better provide the players with memory points, a sense of immersion, and a better game experience. So what NetEast Games did to provide the players with hairstyle diversity, wireless generating personalized and impress the character? The variety of hairstyle highlights the richness of the game character. At the same time, the personalized hairstyle design shows the specific, uh, the special characteristic of players in the game. Take Nalika Braid Point as an example. Could you feel impressed when you saw this character for the first time? If so, are you curious what elements make it impressive? That comes to personalizing designs to enhance the character's traits. So what kind of personalized elements are used in the design? This hairstyle that combines a very muscular mohawk hair design, uh, hairstyle with long curly hair that is family. The designer combines two completely opposite temperament hairstyles, and they design the shape match the male face, which have a very strong, mem a very strong memory and personality. Make one remember this look at a glance. Different hairstyles in the game show different personality. These three characters have the same facial, fe uh, facial feature, similar clothing style, and are decorated with similar bead necklace uh, on, the, on her chest, on their chest, sorry. <laughs> but because of the different hairstyle, they show completely different personalities. The one in the left feels tough and strong. The one in the middle is more gentle 
and the one in the far right is between them too. Why do people feel so different? This is because the short sharp line gave people a sharp and strong feeling with a certain aggression. While the long curly lines show a certain gentle and mild nature, the characteristic of the line are applied to the hairstyles, which brings the character attributes unique with the lines to the character. It also a good way to show personality. If it is matched with different facial features, skin color and clothing, the character's shape will have a more distinct personality. After uh, this other, after this other way to enhance the uh, aesthetics richness of character, other than the person personalization of the design, of course we can provide more variety of hairstyles in addition to personalized styling. In the Tianyu mobile game. Players can always find their favorite hairstyles to show their personality. But within the same personality temperament, hairstyles can also be changed in different ways. For example, the player's hair in the picture is very cute and sweet one. In the category of cute and sweet hairstyles, there are still varieties haircuts designs. So diversity is also provided in personality. In the same category of personality and the temperament, with similar hairline elements, different shapes can design to better provide players with rich diversity. The same long hair curve shape through the different design can also provide rich diversity in the category of mild temperament. The decorative items on the head are also extremely important part of in hair styling design. Developers will design a lot of hair accessories to provide more choice. Some small accessories can make the player's image in the game much more personalized, such as cute fox ear accessories. And the design of hairstyle and hair accessories can better increase the beauty. Below is a brief overview of the variety of hairstyles and accessories. In Justice Online, diverse customization of traditional hairstyles gives the game more possibility of better richness of characters and the player space. So let's take a look of the hairstyle and the decorations. Uh, I'm, I am finishing my part of the speech, so let my partner Luo Hao introduce the next part of the speech to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Nora. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm Hao Luo. Um, thanks for listening to our speech, and I will be presenting the next two parts. So. Uh, let's dive into the third part, uh, which is about contrast and memory. Um, so most hairstyles are designed for beauty as the main purpose, and the good hairstyle design makes the game character look with basic stylistic guidelines. However, um, some hairstyles themselves have uh, different characteristics, such as um, strong temperament. For example, a long curly hair is naturally associated with a feminine and gentle temperament. When looking at this curly hair, it's normal to think, okay, she's probably a female. Maybe because, um, maybe because many women choose to keep long hair, although they all have their, um, their own choices. But if a, character, if a male character keeps a big beard along with the long curly hair, it will conflict with the stereotype in our mind. And it will definitely be impressive because it brings a strong point for audiences to remember. 
and the audiences or players will immediately feel that this is a character who has an interesting background story. Let's take a look at this picture. What kind of imagination do you have when you see it? You probably would think she's a lovely girl with gentle characteristics. And she might be a gentle character in a game, but that's not always the truth. With the same hairstyle, he can also be a strong warrior. So different face gives a different interpretation of this same hairstyle. But which one do you think is more impressive? Looking at the picture in the middle, the long hair matches the feminine feature and looks totally part of it. But the hairstyle impression in people's concept conflicts with the character's temperament in the third picture, making it extremely impressive to most people. Compared with the middle one, audiences will more look forward to the subsequent story content brought by the character on the right. We have not entered any maps with this a character uh, with big beard and long hairstyle. His image makes us eager to discover more about his story and know more about his journey along the way. Let's look at the, another example, a star in China. What is your feeling when you look at this picture? Her temperament is relatively mild, tender and soft. And this used to be her daily hairstyle. And it's beautiful, but maybe, a le maybe less memorable. The middle one and the right one both changed to short hair, which conflicted with her own soft looks and temperament. The visual impact immediately make people uh, memorize. So the star in reality actually keeps short hair for the most of the time. And we probably want to know more about her story and how she's doing when we see these two pictures. And when it, in, when it comes to games, this is a boss from Nettie's game, Justice, with a bald plus braided hairstyle design, which has a strong memory point and fits the evil character aura that a boss should have. By the way, uh, this hairstyle also can be obtained by player when you defeat the boss. So um, if in this game, the player's customized face is, relative, is relatively mild and soft with the evil hairstyle, he will not only no more have evil temperament, but becomes a little funny to some players so that players around him um, feel very impressive. And that is how you become a person remembered by everyone inside a guild or a, a player community. Some players um, will use this hairstyle, which cannot be purchased in, in the game, to communicate and to socialize with other players. And there will even be players who um, have, have this hairstyle and they will customize the color of this hair to get a much more if different effect. In this way, um, he is also naturally remembered by other players. And this is exactly uh, the effect of having a huge constructing hair design. And another example is in Naraka Playpoint of Nettie's. Some players will also customize their characters with various hairstyles. At the same time, they will also combine the game's face customization settings to make their characters into unique images. Why do they do this? The answer is that it, it is easier to be remembered by other players. Of course, in the process of hair and uh, face customization, players can enjoy the fun of their own creations, but ultimately they get more sense of accomplishment because the very recognizable and constructing image stays in people's memory. 
So after talking about contrast and memory, uh, I will be moving on to the fourth part, which is about label, label breaking and the universal values. So in many cases, games artists and des designers or directors of movies um, often use hairstyle to directly define a, a character and even his or her personality, um, which has uh, been mostly successful, successful because hairstyle leave players and audiences great impression and they just remember the character. However, sometimes such a design can have a, um, some unwelcome effect, effects. The reason for that is because using a specific hairstyle to define a character will make the game or film lack of variety. A certain personality or characteristic should match only a certain kind of style. If you think so, you have to find the person um, or the character with, with just a simple, simple label. But this character can also have a lot of other rich and varied hairstyle designs. And through other aspects of character design to highlight the specific characteristics. Therefore, um, sometimes it needs to be transferred to not using um, certain hairstyles to, to get character uh, labeled easily in game and not defining a certain character or background with just a specific hairstyle because it bans diversity and it discriminates. And we can see that certain hairstyles also have certain impressions in people's mind. For example, this slicked back hair give people the first impression that they are related to gangsters or mafia. This is actually a natural label added to such characters. However, in fact, this kind of hairstyle used by some people reflects just cool characters um, and has nothing to do with their occupations. The, this kind of stereotype should not be labeled on a person or a character so easily. And let, let's take a look at these pictures. What do you imagine when you see them? So the, these 30 braids give people the first impression that they are related to street art, hip hop, or other cultures, or cool new trends. Just like this guy. He can be a popular rapper. But in fact, um, some dirty braids or dreadlocks are connected with mysterious religions in some places. Among the e ethnic minorities in China, there is a religious belief of Buddhism and the hairstyle of believers are actually very similar to dreadlocks. They do not represent street culture, hip hop art, but uh, rather a faith and reverence for the Buddhism. Underneath these labels we just saw, there actually lies a very different truth. So for these two pictures, which one is more impressive? or which one makes us expect um, more stories behind it? I think the answer might be the left one. If we break the stereotype and add some other rich features to the specific characteriz characterization, for example, the old and devout believer will be more story storytelling than the features of the hairstyle itself. We can use this method of peeling off those labels in game design um, to give the characters richer and fuller information. And it will have a more impressive impact than just designing a defined hairstyle label for a certain character. And such character appearance designs as an overturn to the traditional stereotype may give players more memorable and impressive points, as well as greater impact to them. But how to peel off or break these labels in game design? 
Here, I would like to share what Netis have done with you. Firstly, um, we developed and applied a, a diverse hardware system. We, we know that in a specific historical context, um, game designers are prone to labeling when uh, designing character hairstyles. For example, the golden hairpin for rich people and the helmet for warriors. However, uh, if you have a various and varied hair decoration system, the effect of labeling will be largely reduced. Why? Because bringing a, a lot of different hair accessories for players consequently reduces the stereotype that there are certain uh, characters should have a certain hairstyle or wear a certain hair accessory. In this game, Justice Online, which is a big title of NetEase, we designed and implemented a diverse hardware system. As you can see in this video, the character has a rich variety of hair decorations and a wide variety of hair accessories that allow players to have many different combinations, even based on the same hairstyle. And players can choose for many more other hairstyles to change combinations. In this way, it's much more difficult to say um, in terms of hairstyle and hair accessories to give him a specific label because the character is not limit, only limited to a certain hairstyle appearance. On the other hand, it also enhances the richness of the character so that, play, so that other players have more desire to um, explore the story behind the character or to communicate and socialize with the player behind him. So we can change many decorations and headwear in this video. And secondly, a uh, creative hair shape customization system was designed and implemented also. According to the historical background of the game and the char characteristics of roles. As mentioned before, uh, we don't want a game in which the warriors are only bold or with short hair. The hairstyles can also be, can all be customized by players freely. This kind of experimental function also allows players to be more inclusive about characters' appearance, rather than limiting their perceptions to a certain character should only have a certain hairstyle. And some more examples can be found in Naraka Playpoint of NetEase. So long hair of this regional culture the, the ancient Chinese updo and the adjusted Western style Mohican hairstyle. Also use the male warrior in this video. In this way, the male warrior is no longer exactly equal to the bun or short hairstyle. The game instead provides players with more different options and collocations so as to overcome the stereotypes. And thirdly, um, what we did to, 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 to break those labels is the design of the hair coloring system based on diversity and high aesthetics. And this has allowed um, Netis to make some other achievements in breaking the stereotype as well. For example, in the Raka Play Point, it is also possible to use the hair coloring system to match the, any hair color you like, allowing players to create 
freely and to be remembered by others. Male characters should not die red in traditional concepts. Such inherent stereotypes have been formed by so many people, but in Naraka Blade Point, we have no such traditional stereotyped images. In Tengyu Mobile, we give players more hair color customization options, including highlighting parts of their hair as they like, dyeing in a gradient color, and some other options. Of course, the game also provides the most, uh, the ba most basic coloring function, which provides a variety of colors for players to, to choose from. The player chooses uh, this lovely young girl with two ponytails as his or her char character. And it's possible for the player to avoid a spe specific label by dyeing, by dyeing her hair into a favorite co favorable color. Fourth, um, when designing games based on the pr premise of conforming to the time background, we try to do cultural integration and multi multifaceted display of different cultures. And this means a lot. And we will continue to do it because cultures and civilizations all over the world are the heritage of the development stage in human history. And if those cultures can be integrated into games, that's, that's an awesome thing to do. So here is an example. In Naraka Playpoint, we have incorporated the characteristic hairstyles of other regional cultures and allow, allowed players to create their own faces in character um, cus face customization, either Western or Eastern style. And everything is possible. And this game is not only to match the tastes of players from different regions in the world, but also to achieve the integration 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 of various cultures into the game. This is also reflected in the design of hairstyles in Naraka Bay Point and some other games of Nerese. So I think that's all what we want to share in terms of this topic. And please allow me to summarize a little bit here. Firstly, every background in game design is important and do consider player experience and an and how to make them immerse more. Secondly, get players into your hair design process if possible and try to listen more to them. And thirdly, while providing diversity and remember to allow freedom for personality. Fourth, cultural blending can get you fans of different backgrounds. And finally, sometimes it is worth to try label breaking and let's do more about it. That's all. Thank you for your listening. Thank you. And if you guys have um, any questions, we would like to answer these. Okay. Um, we're sorry that uh, there's no time for left for questions, maybe. Um, and thank you guys for coming to our speech and bye. Have a thank nice day. Thank you. Have a nice, nice day. Bye. Thank you.